Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. The Warrior! You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it a Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Unable to connect with the right. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. 
Way to hide that leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo clash or something like that. And he landed the right hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Ooh, what a head kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big kick land. Five minutes in the books. Oh, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should log the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. Punches there. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big head kick there. Beautiful knee. Tonight, good work here by Lee. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, really making good. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He is. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Back to the feet. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Just misses with that big right hand. And they separate. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands with the right hand. Oh! And just like that, 
the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.